Hi, my name is Matthew Weeks, and this is my first Throga retreat. I honestly didn't know what to expect. I knew that it was going to be in something like this, but I never imagined that it would go as well as it has been going up to this point, and I'm just loving every second of it. I've done one vo vocal lesson with Richard, but mostly I work through Carrie Hardwick, which is one of Richard's students that's able to teach Throga to me. I've been looking over all these Throga things online just to have some sort of foundation before I came here, and it just works, and I love it. Being here at the Throga Retreat has allowed me to pull the emotion that I didn't know that I had into my movements when I'm singing. I'm part of a choir, and choir basically means stand there. <laughs> and you obviously want to show emotion with your facial expressions and maybe a little bit of movement if they tell you to do it, but for solo opportunities like this, it's something that you have to find in yourself to pull out and get it to where you want it to be. You are my favorite Caesar. You helped me pull the emotion that I never knew I could pull out of myself to create something beautiful. And that's what I want to do at the end of the day. I want to create something beautiful that everybody in the world can share and love. And because of you, I'm able to do that. Thank you so much for helping me. Matthew is a a very gifted individual, has a very strong voice. For just being 16 years old, he sounds like a professional seasoned singer. It was really great to see Matthew outside of his element. He opened up like a sunflower. One of the songs that I'm singing is Evermore from Beauty and the Beast. Um, it's been done by Dan Stevens in the movie that came out recently. Um, and it was also done by Josh Groban on Broadway. Just the song itself is so emotion-filled and it's very difficult to be to just drag the emotion, pull it out of the song to where it's perfect, where you are emulating Beast and how heartbroken he felt and how hopeful he is. And when you get to I Rage Against the Trials of Love, he is angry. Um, my second song is Fly Me to the Moon, as sung by Frank Sinatra, Tony Bennett, and a bunch of other people. It's one of my grandfather's favorites, and he would sing it to my grandmother before he passed. I learned it in memory of him, and so that way I could pass on the love that he felt for his wife and for the people around them on to other people. Matthew Weeks, um, just a great kid. Like, just through and through, just a genuinely nice guy. His transformation during the week was pretty extreme because the talent's there, but he's also very open to any suggestions that we had, and he's open to grow. So he took everything that we threw at him, and he um, flourished, you know. Um, and that's going to serve him really well in the future. Would I come to another throw retreat? Absolutely I would. Absolutely. Dude, it's not every day that a small town kid like me gets to come here and be able to record and perform in a place where famous people before me have done great things. I never thought that me singing would end up getting me here. And here I am. I finally learned how to scat while I was here. So, I mean, every minute that I've been here has been a minute that I have learned and grown in maturity and just being able to be a better performer. And I'm thankful that I had the opportunity to be here. Matthew, you are in the right path. Please keep doing what you're doing. Don't forget this journey. Um, and always take it with you as you move forward because where you're going is stardom. The journey's over! Woo! Here's our come! Quickly! Let's go! Let's go.